hopefully y'all remember this, like winding this thing all the way back to get to those two screws underneath there. After you get done winding everything back, you loosen these two screws up, and you get to this contraption, this craziness that they designed. And here's another shot. You finally get to set your angle, then you put it all back together and wind it back in for another minute or two. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of all that. I feel obliged to tell you I had my wisdom teeth pulled, and I'm on medication, so... I don't really know how this video is going to turn out. So I've seen a couple of things on YouTube and the internet uh, showing you how to put like a locking set screw into um, uh, this piece right here. Um, and I'd, I'd never seen this angle. This is one I came up with my own uh, because I wanted to be able to access it from the front. So I'm just taking a mill here and I'll get you the size and I'll put it on the screen. And I went ahead and put a flat spot in the direction that I'm going to drill. Now I'm using a number 29 drill, and that's for tapping 8 30 seconds. It takes a while to drill all the way through, but this is cast iron, so it's pretty easy going. Okay, we're all done. Now for a little oversized drilling because I really don't have a tap that will go that distance. Let's move on. So let me go ahead and try to explain this. The tap uh, I have is about an inch long and I got more than an inch to tap and so I had to oversize uh, the hole halfway down into the steel so I could tap down low enough. Does that make sense? If not, just go with it. So here I'm demonstrating the thing that's not tall enough. So we got to put this in the lathe and uh, cut the ridge off. So, and I'll point that out. See that ridge there on the right hand side? You got to cut some of that ridge off so the top is flush with the top or even extends a little higher. And so I'll demonstrate that here. Did I mention that you need another lathe for that? So let's go ahead and test fit the screw here. I'm going to have to run up to the hardware store and get a one and a quarter inch, eight thirty second cap head screw. So here, the ridge on the right, I'm thinning that out so the top comes flush or a little bit extends beyond the top when it uh, fits in the other part. So here I'll try to demonstrate what I mean by flush. So the part that fits in that part, see that, that right there. It's got to be above the steel, but not too much above, and you got to kind of play with it. And I could say thousands, ten thousands and stuff, but whatever, I don't work that way. But just get it where it can rotate. Once you tighten these screws up, uh, just uh, get, get it where it's tight. We're going to have a steam engine intermission here. This is one of the first steam engines I've ever built. That's it. Kind of like a outtake. This is a wobbler, which means the piston and the valves. See, this is the piston that block there, and the valves are in this piece of aluminum. And then there's the uh, intake and the exhaust port. And the um, the flywheel is made out of a piece of aluminum, obviously there. And this is a, I think a three or three and a half inch drain, plug drain. And um, the uh, piston is made out of a piece of solid steel that I ground away. You know, it'll just stop this one to see it. So now do some of this and then do some of that and you're just about ready to go now. And after a few short minutes, there you go, you're done. So the final here shows that I got the uh, 8 30 seconds, one and a quarter inch screw, and uh, I'm using my Allen wrench to tighten it up. And I'm going to demonstrate here that you uh, 
uh, what the floor looks like, and then uh, that you can loosen the screw up and rotate, and uh, then you can tighten it up, and you can change the angle, and then tighten it up again, and it's way simpler than unscrewing it and screwing it all back together. I hope this is very clear to y'all. You just loosen it up, and then rotate, and then tighten. Real simple. Now look, it's all locked into place. So y'all remember this, like winding this thing all the way back. It's all gone. Now, I went with this angle just to make it easier to get to. Uh, I've just, I copied off of one. I've seen that they put the set screw over here. It just leaves them like a pain. Anyway, that's all red. And uh, oh, one other thing here. I uh, duplicated this lock for the tail that I put on the gray one um, and made some new handles. Oops, handles. Um, so anyway, we'll be upgrading this one here next uh, with the same modification. Your comments and questions are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.